have still stunned the new unified world heavyweight champion, Ahmed Johnson, who defeated Jerry the King Lawler for that title. And I got to tell you, Dave, we have seen a lot of talent over the years, but I've never seen anything like the strength and the ability of this Ahmed Johnson. He did it. That's all there was to it, guys. We got other things today on the show. We do indeed on today's show. PG-13 will be here. Also talking about large, how about 450 pounds worth of Smoky Mountain Massacre. We got a little uh, preview of him here right here last week. But, uh, yes, we did. And it wasn't an especially uh, pleasant one. He'll be back in action. Also, Brian Christopher will be here today. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to try to check in and find out uh, there was an incident that took place with uh, Eddie Marlin, and we're going to be showing some of the tape on that, and we'll be finding out a little bit more about that on. We'll also have some tape on that World Unified title a match with Ahmed Johnson and the King. We have just got a bunch, as a matter of fact, and what we got to do is get ready to go. Yeah, we're not even going to take a break. Corey's ready. Is he standing there? <laughs> Say something to I'm me, I'm ready. Corey. Hey, let's do it. One fall. Ten minutes in time for our opening bout on USWA Wrestling. First introducing wrestling out of Millington, Tennessee. 187 pounds. Here is Charlie Laird and his opponent making his way to the ring area. Led by manager Richard Lee, Moondog Cujo. Yeah. It's our opening bout on USWA Wrestling over the lands and days. Not shall, fellas. If they tell me I got to start at the bottom of the ladder and work my way up for a title shot, that's just exactly what we're going to do. That's Richard Lee, the manager of Moondog Cujo. And don't forget it. Lance Russell, Dave Brown, I've always considered both of you fellas very just and upright men. But you better that's little it. lax on your commentating. And I'm doing it right now. Here's your next unified heavyweight champion. After it's all over and done with, we're going to start with Brian Cliff for first. And we're working our way up. Bar none, we're doing it all. Cujo is the biggest, the baddest, and the meanest of any of the moon dogs that I ever had. All right, of. Richard. And nobody Get wants over the there. Of Stop it. Especially this, guy. this young punk right here. And you're giving him a lesson in the art and the technique of professional wrestling. Right here, baby. Enough of that conversation. Get him stopped. We're going to take a break here, and we'll be back. Cujo the winner over Charlie Lair. With every pump of the handle, Balsuka's rotating turret serves out a non-stop barrage of balls. Advantage, Balsuka. It's Nerf or nothing. Welcome to Nerf Max Force. Eagle Eye checks his aim as he enters the game and lasers a dart that soars. He takes on Razor Beast and his 15 dart feast, but Eagle Eye evens the score. Max Force, it's Nerf to the next power. My brother, my brother, I can't believe. Spend all your dough on weekend leave. Gotta call home, but you ain't got no cash. You gonna eat that corned beef hash? Call 1-800-COLLECT, save him some butts. Now you can own Batman Forever on video. Now that's impressive. Bring home the Riddler. Ow! He's lean, green, and makes Batman see red. Buy it now, own it forever. It was the most powerful show on television, earning 99 Emmy nominations and capturing the hearts and minds of a generation. Now Columbia House Video presents MASH, the collector's edition on video cassette. For only $4.95, you'll get three hilarious episodes just by calling this toll-free number now. And every episode is complete and unedited. You'll howl at the antics of Hawkeye Pierce. Trapper John McIntyre drives home the laughs. DJ Honeycutt, what an operator. Yes, 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 that's the one. And Colonel Potter, everyone's favorite horse doctor. Horse hockey. They're Korea's Here. wackiest Swing medical the... misfits. See them forming friendships under fire. Do you hear me? Silver gun here's pretty good. Have your credit card ready and call now. Your first MASH video cassette is only $4.95. Credit card orders only, please. Don't say goodbye to MASH. Bring it home. Call now. It took place in Nashville, Tennessee, that uh, after a Texas death match up there, Bob Armstrong got in the ring and challenged Eddie Marlin to come out. Well, uh, the Smoky Mountain guys 
finally did go back to the dressing room. Eddie hit the ring, had no problem at all. Bob jumped on him. And then Eddie was battling his way back. And once Eddie started getting the upper hand on it, here they come. All the Smoky Mountain guys right. running back in there. And they ended up beating up on Eddie. They got a figure four leg lock on him. Eddie uh, ended up in a situation where he was able to function and do his duties, except he's walking with a cane mm -hmm. and, and all of that. We've got some footage on I want you to take a look at this from Nashville, Tennessee. Tracy Smothers and all the rest of the clubs are gone as Eddie Marlin takes his jacket off. A challenge here, and this is what everybody in Nashville, Tennessee are coming to their feet to, to see. A challenge as the people chant Eddie Marlin. As here comes Eddie Marlin, the two big Starts nailing Eddie Marlin in the corner, choking him. No referee is the referee yet. Eddie nails him with a big punch. Eddie nails him with another big punch. He nails him a third time. Bob Armstrong can't have anything to handle. Eddie Marlin nails him again. Here comes Tracy Smothers in as they got Eddie Marlin out. Damage on Eddie. Bob Armstrong has a figure four leg lock on Eddie Marlin. Armstrong trying to break Eddie Marlin's leg as we have a bad situation here in Nashville, Tennessee. Terrible situation. Boy, I guarantee you a terrible situation when you see all of those guys jumping on Eddie. Eddie not, not the first bit afraid of being in that ring with Bob Armstrong, and you saw what happened when he started doing it. But that wasn't the end of it, Dave. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, just happened uh, last night uh, down in Mississippi. Crenshaw, Mississippi is where it took place. And uh, they were down there for the matches, and uh, Eddie Marlin uh, ended up uh, getting involved in one with who else but another Armstrong, only this time Jesse James Armstrong. Let's take a look and see what happened there. Still complaining. He's telling Rush about that. So Eddie Marlin uh, stepped up in there. Armstrong said, hey, if you want your cane, oh, now come on, Armstrong. Eddie's hurt in there and walking around with a cane tonight here in Crenshaw. And Armstrong's making fun of him. That's not pretty at all, Jesse James Armstrong. I tell you, look at Armstrong. This guy tells you the truth. Shells run. Hi, come on, Jesse. Hit referee Bill Rush. Come on. What in the world is Armstrong doing? Nails referee Bill Rush. Now Eddie Marlin out there. He nailed Eddie with that cane, let me tell you. Picks it. Oh, my goodness. Got Eddie cut open there, man. Eddie Marlin busted wide open in there by Jesse James Armstrong. Come on! That kind of stuff, absolutely ridiculous. Jesse James Armstrong jumping on Eddie Marlin in there. Drops the elbow down on Eddie. Again, oh my goodness. Jesse James Armstrong now Eddie Marlin with his cane in there and busted Eddie open. He's got Eddie bleeding. Oh, Eddie Marlin being worked on in there by Jesse James Armstrong. Tech challenger, Stephen Dunn and all that. Come on. Put that figure four leg lock on, Eddie. Hey, come on, Jesse. Hey, break that stuff, guys. Come on. That is, I tell you, that that is absolutely ridiculous. Come on, Jesse. Leave him alone. Man, I tell you. Jesse James Armstrong putting that figure four leg lock again on Eddie Marlin. Here comes Brian Christopher, PG-13 in there. And all of a sudden, Stephen Dunn, Tex Salinger, Jesse James Armstrong take off. And Eddie Marlin busted open in there with that cane. 
from Jesse James Armstrong, and I mean to tell you, look at that. Let's get some help for Eddie. Come on, let's get him back there and get him. Boy, I, I got to tell you, see something like that, it just makes my blood boil to see somebody like Jesse James Armstrong coming in there and jumping and pulling that stuff he did on Eddie. Well, it's just part of that smoky about and here. Oh. Well, listen, I'm glad you came out here. I'll guarantee you one thing. There you saw it. You'll see a the day never the when you're the kind of a man <laughs> that, that Eddie Marlin is. You get a in taste there, oh. of the toughness. Then you'd bother teaching me anything you <laughs> yeah. kind of respect. He did teach me something. He taught me how to kick booty and take names, Lance Russell. Yeah. Now, what I've done since I've been here is beat everybody up. Smoky Mountain is simply taking over, and you just saw me. I think there's a special announcement to be made. I think if we can, do we have my father on the phone right now? I think we do, don't we, Lance? Uh, is that right? Is he is he on the line? Well, let's get over here and father. find out. Father, let's go over here and see if we can see if we can find out. Hello, Dad? do we have a call? Yes, go ahead. Is that your dad? Dad, is that you? Yes. How you doing, Jesse? I'm doing great, Bullet. I know you're in the Bahamas celebrating, and I hate to interrupt you, but I know, I know you heard the news. I have desecrated and massacred, <laughs> just like Smoky Mountain and the Armstrongs always do, the USWA as a whole. Eddie Marlin's old booty is now beat. Brian Christopher's been beat up. The King Gerald, Dad, I'm so happy I can't talk. Well, I can talk. I can tell you one thing, Bob. You sure taught your kid something. You taught him how to beat up on somebody that's not even involved in wrestling and pull the same kind of stuff you did up there after he had already had a bad leg from that figure four leg. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Eddie Marlin. Oh. Russell. That. Russell. To my dad, Lance. Uh, Lance Russell, let me tell you this. I taught my son how to survive in a business where it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Now, I put the figure four leg lock on Eddie Marlin trying to teach him a lesson. And what Jesse James Armstrong did was finish the lesson. Now, I'm sick and tired of this war. I'm down here trying to celebrate the big takeover of Smoky Mountain of the USWA. We beat everybody you've got there. Why don't we just stop all this malarkey and make company against company? I've already got Smoky Mountain wrestling. Now, I'm ready to absorb USWA wrestling. And I'll put the future of Smoky Mountain Wrestling on the shoulders of Jesse James Armstrong. I believe he can beat anybody in the world today. He's young, he's strong, and I taught him everything he knows, and he can hurt people. So if they got any guts up there, and since Eddie Marlin, the head of the snake, top of the food chain is gone, why don't we just put the whole thing up for grabs? If, if we lose, I'll let you have control of Smoky Mountain Wrestling. But if we win, if Jesse James Armstrong beats anybody you want him to beat, Anybody that we want to be, beat him will take over the USWA. Then I can run the whole thing like it should be run, like a wrestling organization should be run. Well, I can tell you one thing. That's the stupidest idea I ever heard, Bob, <laughs> putting promotion against promotion in there. You've Company gotten it away from a wrestling thing. Why don't Company you quit Company. We're going to beat people up and take over. It's all It's in the bag, Lance. Dad, I, I know you got to get back to the sun and celebrate and everything. I love you, Dad. Uh, call me again. I, I, I'll call you when we take over. We'll do it. And just tell this to Mr. Railman. Randy Hales. <laughs> it Randy Hales for everybody's information. He thinks it's a silly idea because he knows that Smoky Mountain's got the upper hand. He knows what Bullet Bob can do. He knows what Smoky Mountain wrestling talent can do. So if he's got any guts at all, now that Big Daddy's Eddie Marlin's gone, it's your job. Okay, Bob. Bob. Randy Hales, if you want to do it. Do We've it. heard all of it we want to hear. That, yes, I am. I'm going to cut it off. That's it. That's it. He put up the challenge. Now listen, all I did was I put an old, old, stooge, fat, jabroni man out of commission. What I did was I broke an old man's leg. It's just like shooting an old horse. He has done nothing but leech off of his son-in-law for the past 30 years. He's all a never was, and he's a has-been. Now what I'll do, you heard my father, promotion versus promotion. Anybody that's got guts enough in the USWA to step in that squared circle and look across it into these eyes, it's going flat to their back and we're owning the whole kit and caboodle. You dig that, Lance? Yeah, I hear what you're you saying, Jesse James. You sometimes you know, I wonder. No, no, I'm not done. 
I'm not done. Don't cut me off. Smoky Mountain has taken over, and we've built a force to be reckoned with. If I could have the other half of the USWA Tag Team Champions, Tracy Smothers, the wild-eyed Southern boy, come on out. And if I could have 450 pounds of man-eating beast, the Smoky Mountain Massacre come out. And last but not least, Lance, a blast from your past and a blast from my past. Six foot six, 335 pounds. Big Tex Slazinger is coming to the Armstrong side of things and he's gonna help us. Look at that thing. Look at that for the love of Pete. You mean to tell me. This is oh, yeah. Mountain. Hey, I thought he had a little more. Work over here. Let me say one thing first. How much I love the Armstrongs and Smoky Mountain. Bro, thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. First of all, I got another agenda down here besides coming to see my boy. There's a little punk's pipsqueak, short little guy name of Brian Christopher. Now, I might be setting my sights a little too high, but I think I'm going to go after him first. And let me tell you something, Brian. Look into my eyes, boy. You ain't seen bad yet. But it's coming. <laughs> well, you got a match here before you. Lance Russell, what we're talking about here is this Fab Four you got here of Brian Christopher, Doug Gilbert, and PG 13 is finished. Let me repeat this again Smoky Mountain Wrestling is what's hot, and the USWA is not. And before it's all said and done, the Smoky Mountain crew okay, is taking over. Right. We're I'm taking tired over, of Lance Russell. I'm tired of you. Come you on, change, why don't man. you just get out? Both of you guys. Come on. Come on. Here we go with action, uh, Lance. One fall, a 10-minute time limit. First introducing out of Cordova, Tennessee at 200 pounds, Tony Williams. And his opponent today on USWA Wrestling, making his return in the USWA, coming in at 320 pounds, wrestling out of Amarillo, Texas. Here is Tex Slazinger. Over to Lance Russell and Dave. Okay, Corey, we're back. Now. What is this, Bruno? You guys are totally great. Hey, we're great, man. You we're celebrating our takeover. Thank you, Bruno. Bruno brings a cake Bruno, out here. Best athlete right there at your next USWA. Oh, why don't you get out of here? We got a match here, Bruno. Is that a mistake? That's a mismatch. Take the cake out in the back somewhere and eat it if you want to eat the cake. You want to bite? You want to try? No, get it. No, come on, Tracy, get out. We've got Tony Williams in the ring with Big Tech Slasinger, and Williams has got. His hands full with a guy that kind of size. That's exactly right, Lance Russell. Tex Slashinger's been all over the world, yes, man. Yes, he has. Yes, he I has. Know. Puerto Rico, Japan, WCW, you name it. Look at that. Hey, he got lucky, man. Tony Williams is a good wrestler, a good athlete, but he ain't good enough, man. There he is. He Big drop enough. kick. He took Tex all the way over and down. You quit with all those noisemakers and things. Good night. You don't tell us what to do. We run this place. We're changing the format here. You're fired, Dave Brown. You're fired. Hey, you never could. You guys the don't run this company yet. Now why don't you get out of here and let us watch our match? Smoky Mountain. Congratulations. Yeah. Look at the cage that body slam. Nobody does it better. There's your next USWA heavyweight champion right there, Tex Slasher. Dropped to the elbow and missed it. Tony Williams out of the way. Oh, look at that drop kick by Tony Williams. Schlesinger not doing too well, Smoky Mountain. Oh, Tex grabbed the rope. Williams fell right down there. You guys. Do you eat cake? DDT, yeah. brother. Nobody gets up from that. Brock, One, two, three. <laughs> Will you please leave us alone over here? You've screwed up enough. Why don't you take the cake and get it out of here? You're so happy about celebrating. We're not, we're not Gosh, celebrating I can't believe anything. you're in here you with these guys. guys. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We're going to take a break. Let's get out of here. Forget. I hope it goes right in your face.
in risk. The world is your battlefield. You are the general, leading armies across borders, conquering everything in your path to take over not just a country, but the entire world. Risk, the game of global domination. Enter the future. Vector Man, the most revolutionary game ever for Sega Genesis. And play to win for a chance at a $25,000 grand prize. Vector Man. Resistance is futile. Cyber. Holy cow! Same graphics, same moves. It looks like the arcade, man. 16 bits! All you say is, I'm a killer instinct only on Super NES, complete with Killer Cuts game music CD. It's totally uncensored. So who needs a new system? Killer Instinct. Now on Game Boy and Super Game Boy. Fight on! Even if you've had past credit problems, you deserve a second chance. Now qualifying for a Visa Classic card has never been easier. I'll be back in just a minute to tell you how you can get yours. Now secure your credit with a Visa Classic Secured Credit Card. If you earn at least $150 per week, are 18 years or older, have a valid Social Security number, and are not currently in bankruptcy, then you will be considered for approval. Qualifying for a Visa Classic Card has never been easier. If you have a checking account, we can even take your application right over the phone. So call the number on your screen right now. The Las Vegas experience is the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino. Best value center strip with more of everything that's a resort vacation. Sumptuous meals and exotic locations. Sizzling gaming excitement. Race and sports book action. The world's best collection of antique and classic automobiles. Authentic Polynesian luau. And legends in concert. All at the Imperial Palace where you don't have to spend money like a king to be treated like one. For reservations, call 1-800-634-6441. We're going to be up to Corey in the ring in just a moment uh, as we've got a match coming up with the biggest of the Smoky Mountain guys, the Smoky Mountain Massacre, about 450 yep. pounds of him. Tell you one thing about it, Dave. We had enough interruptions and all of that from Smoky Mountain out here today. But we have uh, further, this must be a delivery spot because... Jesse James Armstrong has had a package sent in to him here, and we'll uh, talk about that in a little bit. Let's go to Corey up in the middle of the ring. Okay, Lancer, here we go with action here on the USWA, wrestling out of Memphis, Tennessee, at 218 pounds. T.D. is still and his opponent today, wrestling out of Knoxville, Tennessee, representing the Smoky Mountain Wrestling, 450 pounds. Here is the Smoky Mountain Massacre. It is going to downtown Bruno. Come on. Quit throwing the cake around. Over the lance Good today. Night. Throwing the cake and stuff. Didn't your mother teach you any matter? Not going up right there, man. Celebration right there. That guy's dead meat. That's 400 pounds of romping, stomping fury. Oh, look at that. Go, TD, go. <laughs> TD is about to get massacred. <laughs> well, the Smoky Mountain Massacre certainly got the size advantage on him. Oh, just he outweighs him by a little, I'd say. We got, oh! we got athletic ability. We're just plain mean. We're the thugs, man. Like I said a million times, Smoky Mountain Wrestling is what's hot, and the USWA is not, man. We're taking over. Jesse, we got that package out there. What do you mean having stuff delivered to you here? Hey, hey, I don't know what you're talking about, Lance, but it, if there's a package out front, I'd like to see it. I'd like to get it. Nothing better for a party than some presents, huh? Yeah, right. We are having a celebration party, you know, Lance. Congratulations to Smoky Mountain Wrestling. We're taking over the USWA. You want some cake, Lance? Would you like it on your No, desk? no, no. I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> Massacre throwing TD Steel down. Hey, and one other thing, I want to go out on a limb here and say that the USWA fans, they need to use some shampoo, some soap, and some dead gum deodorant, and I dare them to brush their teeth because they're the stinking, nastiest people I've ever seen in my life. This guy's finished. TD Splish against the turnbuckle. Boy, oh boy, I could almost, if it was better company, I would come and join in on that song. the subject, I want my present. I don't know, they just told me from the front desk that FedEx had delivered a, a package here for Jesse James. Somebody signed for it? Where is it? 
Let us have a match here without you guys interrupting. We'll take care of your personal job a little bit later. Massacre! Murdered him, Dave. One, two, three. It's time out. Be back in more. Enter the future. Vector Man, the most revolutionary game ever for Sega Genesis. And play to win for a chance at a $25,000 grand prize. Vector Man, resistance is futile. Sega. Class, always proceed in an orderly fashion. Sorry! Racing chase around the track. Always remember to forgive and forget. Sorry! You hit me, I'll get you back. The game of sorry. Slide, switch, and bump your way home before someone makes you. Sorry! And sends you back. Never bump, push, or cut in line. Sorry! Slide and bump them off the track. Do we understand one another? Sorry! You hit me, I'll get you back. Anyone? Sorry! Enter the future. Vector Man. The most revolutionary game ever for Sega Genesis and play to win for a chance at a $25,000 grand prize. Vector Man. Resistance is futile. Sega. Get ready to scratch and save. Just play Sears Mystery Saving Spectacular game during your free in-home consultation. You could save big on new siding. Stay tuned to learn more. Why would you get siding installed on your house now? Well, the special offer from Sears is a good reason, but it's not as impressive as this. Before and after. After it's sighted, your home will look better than ever. Siding from Sears gives your home a gorgeous new appearance that lasts for years. Sears siding transforms almost any kind of home. Wood frame, stucco, brick. Vinyl coverings look great on hard to paint eaves and overhangs too. Call and before you know it, your home will look beautiful now and ever after. And now you could have new siding free. But before Sears authorized contractors get to work, you get to play. Save 5 to 100% on siding guaranteed. Call for your free in-home consultation. That's when you'll get your game card. Hey, what is this? Hey, TD had a heck of a chance. All right. My money was on him. Here's special delivery. What's this say? Special delivery from the Bahamas, it says, Lance, for Jesse James. You are about this whole situation. Look, it must be from Daddy. Special delivery from, from the Bahamas to Jesse Daddy James Daddy. Armstrong. Yeah. What have you had delivered in here now? We got cake all over the place. No, no, I got a special party present, I guess, sent by my daddy. I'm so happy. Whoa! Double J! Jeff Jarrett! Ripping out of the and there he goes, chasing Jesse James Armstrong, Jeff Jarrett, out the back door. Dave Corey running out. Wolfie D, they're trying to gain Jeff, Jeff back. Well, there he is. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back here in just a minute. Jet, Jet, son of a gun. Touch the future at Radio Shack. Touch total image video. Aptiva from IBM. Touch theater sound. Touch a complete multimedia experience. The IBM Aptiva has it all and more. Touch it for yourself at Radio Shack. And with special credit terms, we'll not only help you touch the future, we'll help you own it. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. 
heading to Memphis, Route 64. Drove all night, but real sore. Call your old lady and give her the news. You just got the mother of all tattoos. Call 1-800-COLLECT from any phone. Enter the future. Vector Man, the most revolutionary game ever for Sega Genesis. And play to win for a chance at a $25,000 grand prize. Vector Man, resistance is futile. Sega. Come visit the world-famous Milan Gallery in historic downtown Fort Worth, Texas. Milan Gallery has shows with world-famous artists such as Henrietta Milan, the exclusive showing of artist Sky Jones, made from Czechoslovakia, and local artist Rome Milan. For information on upcoming shows, call the Milan Gallery at 817-338-4278. Not since Christie's in New York has a gallery made such an impact on the artist community. You found us. Television you can feel good about. Right here on AIN, the American Independent Network. Dave. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, we're here. Yeah. Dave. Uh, I was just just telling Corey that uh, they're they're trying to uh, t <laughs> to still kind of get Jeff uh, settled down out here. He's very upset over the situation with uh, Smoky Mountain and especially yeah, I don't uh, blame with what happened to Eddie and uh, all that sort of thing. We do have a match coming up. Uh, if we um, can uh, maybe get the opponents headed this. Wait a minute. Here's Lance out. Here's Lance and here's Jeff. Jeff Jarrett. Let me get plugged up here. Okay. Now, uh, Lance. Uh, all right. There you go. Boy, I'll tell you what. It's been a long time since I have had the uh, pleasure to do this and have this guy standing beside me. I'll tell you what a great, great pleasure, Jeff Jarrett, to have you back here. Son of a gun, I haven't seen you so long. You've gotten big as a house. What have you been doing and everything? Tell me a little bit about what's been happening, Jeff. Well, Lance, you just hit on it. It's been quite a while since I've stepped foot in this studio. Almost two years. <laughs> Son of a gun. And a lot of people have said, and I want to clear this up point, I want to clear it up first, that I've deserted the USWA. Some guys have been running around saying that. Well, I'm out here to say I didn't desert them but I have been gone for two years because I went to the WWF and Lance you know as well as anybody anybody that puts on a pair of boots and steps into that ring their dream is to be in the main event at Madison Square Garden and that's exactly where I've been the last two years in the WWF and I'm proud of that fact but what I'm not proud of is that I've made tremendous sacrifice to achieve my dream I didn't get to be around the USWA fans. And then I've also deserted my family, Lance, because my little brother Jason, I watched him grow up, play football, seven or eight years, and then his last two years, his junior and senior season at Brentwood Academy, a nationally ranked team, I didn't get to see one game, and he was captain of the team. And then my little sister, when I went off to the WWF, she was just a freshman in college, and now she's fixing to graduate. And then what I'm not proud of at all is Eddie touched on it a couple of weeks ago. When my grandmother was put in the hospital, I flew in to see her, and she was. We were close to losing her. But she don't even remember me being there. I flew out the next morning, and she don't even remember it. Lance, Jeff, that's really sticking by your family. Yeah, I, I, I understand how you feel, and I know personally how this whole thing is, but son of a gun, I gotta just say this, and I guess we've all said it at one time or another, uh, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, and when you're working for a living, you just can't take off sometimes, and I know in your heart you wanted to be in all those well, places. Lance, I've got the chance now because Eddie Marlin, he's more than a grandfather to me. He's the most loving, caring individual that I know. And when I got the call at 3 o'clock this morning and I found out what happened to Eddie last night, I said, enough is enough. 
Now you, Brian James, Brian Gerard James is your real name. I'll tell everybody my name, it's Jeff Jarrett. And what do you do? You come up with Jesse James. Does Double J ring a bell to you? <laughs> now Brian, you know, but these people don't know, that I handpicked you to be by my side in the WWF. Out of hundreds of guys I could have picked, I picked you. Without Jeff Jarrett, you would be absolutely nothing in the wrestling world. And I carried you on the road, and I carried you all over the world. And what did you do? You screwed up time after time after time. And then you want to get personal. I decided to take some time off because I wanted to spend some time with my family. Because quite frankly, Eddie is getting up in his years, and I want to cherish each moment I could stay with him. But Brian, you want to come in here with your Smoky Mountain thugs, and you want to take over something real personal, real dear to my heart, and that is the USWA. Because yes, Smoky Mountain, everybody knows about their big wheels, their big money investors, and they've got a lot of that. But what they don't have is somebody who can back it up in the ring. And the USWA's got it. Now, Brian, I'm accepting this challenge because, yes, sir, old Double J can do it. And when we step into that ring, you think those sand fleas over in Saudi were on your butt. Oh, when Double J gets through with you, oh, there ain't going to be nothing left of you because I'm going to pluck each braid out of your hair. Because this is for Lance, I'm going to have an opportunity to make up some lost time. This is for not playing and not watching Jason play football. For my sister, for my father who I would got to see in two years, for my grandfather, and for the USWA fans. I'll be damned if I'm going to let you try to walk over them. So Brian, boy, lace up them boots. That's an old saying, but it sure is true. And you get ready, because when I get through with you, <laughs> you're going to realize that old Double J, that's J-E, double F, <laughs> J-A, double R-E, double T, that's Double J, Jeff Jarrett, the world's greatest singer, the world's greatest wrestler, and you're going to find out the world's greatest defender of the USWA. Well, he stepped right up, and the challenge was issued by Bob Armstrong and by Jesse James Armstrong. Bring on anybody, and there's the man that took it up. Jeff Jarrett said, let me in there. I'm ready to go with that ring. Let's go to Corey up in oh, the middle. Oh, boy, good to see Whoa. Double J, Jeff Jarrett. Let's do it. USWA Tag Team Action on their way to the ring at a combined weight, 453 pounds out of parts unknown. The Scorpion and his partner out of parts unknown, the Yellow Jacket. Their opponents today are combined weight, 397 pounds. From the hood, J.C. Ice, Wolfie D, PG-13. Their opponents today on USWA Wrestling, Bill Rush is the official referee. Over to Lance Russell and Dave Brown. What a day, guys. Boy, we're getting ready to see some fast action in there now. Um, yeah, I can see it. I'm not blind as you would say. Will wonders ever cease, man? Will wonders ever cease? Double J come out of his cocoon. He's out of retirement. And look what he did. He back jumped Jesse James Armstrong, man. Huh? I guess that you think that's real great, don't you? Well, I tell you what I think. I think of all the people that I've ever seen that deserved it, he has certainly got to be right at the top of the list. That little interview he did, that'd bring a tear to a glass eye. But he's finished just like the rest of these geeks. PG-13 right there. They're not getting any more title shots. Are you aware of that? We got 30 days to defend these belts. Wait a minute. It's not over with you. Yet. Let's ring the bell. Get ready for the action, Dave. PG-13 in the ring right now. J.C. Ice, Wolfie D. Wolfie's going to be starting against the Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket and the Scorpion. And boy, I tell you what. Hey, you 13. don't worry about me, man. You just take care of what you got in the ring, man. You better strut your stuff because you're not going to be strutting long. And you're getting no more title shots. PG-13. No more. 13 is going to be looking for a title shot at the earliest convenience, no doubt about it. 
see PG-13 and Brian Christopher, Doug Gilbert, Jerry Lawler, and all these other geeks. They're just like all these stinking USWA fans out here, man. They ain't no count. They don't use deodorant. They don't use toothpaste. They don't wash their hair. They stink, man. And they darn sure can't wrestle. That's the word from Tracy Smothers, ladies and gentlemen. In the ring, it's Wolfie D with a step over toe hold. He's got the yellow jacket down on the mat. JC Why don't you Ice. shut up, J.C. Ice, and worry about what you've got in the ring, man. See, hey, PG-13, they're a pretty good tag team. You know, they're good, but we're great. You understand what I'm telling you? Our little coalition here of Tech Slashinger, the Smoky Mountain Massacre, well, Jesse James Armstrong, we already got the tag team titles. We're going to get the USWA title, and I'm going to get the world title. Smoky Mountain Wrestling's was hot, and the USWA's not. And these guys right here aren't getting any more title shots. You understand what I'm telling you? We got 30 days to I hear these belts. I hear what you're saying, but the belts will be defended at some point, and PG-13, I guarantee you, will be in line for the title shot. And one thing you're failing to mention, Tracy's mother, is one reason Smoky Mountain is able to get so many victories is because you show up by the hundreds. More than just one against one. Hey. More than just tag team against tag team. They come as a pack, Lance, and that's the way that's they right. been like doing it. That's right, like a pack of wolves. Here. We stick together, man. Smoky Mountain Wrestling, the thugs. We stick together. That was a pretty good move. Pretty good move. He couldn't have done that to none of the thugs, though. He couldn't do that to anybody from Smoky Mountain Wrestling. I've seen him do stuff just like that to the Smoky Mountain. Big girl bow down goes the yellow jacket. J.C. Ice. Going red hot at the moment, one, two, and he only got a two count. Y'all saw what happened to Eddie Marlin, man. He got his brain speed out. Now you got Double J coming in. You think you're going to do something. You think you're going to derail the thugs. Well, you're wrong, man. We're going to get y'all one by one. These two guys right here are gone, and they don't even know it, man. This Fab Four or Fantastic Six or whatever y'all got here, you're all finished, man. Smoky Mountain Wrestling is what rules. Look at that. Get on him. Get on him, man. Don't, get him, don't give a sucker an even break. Get on him. Oh. Yellow Jacket out. The uh, Scorpion down below was handling J.C. Ice. And J.C. got away. Back over tanks. Wolfie D. Wolfie comes in. Goes after Yellow Jacket. J.C. on the Scorpion. The double whip. And they hit him on. Head on head. Scorpion slam. They could never do that to the thugs, man. Oh. Tilt to world cover, and there it is. One, two, three. Like I said, they're good, but we're great. Yeah. You got to go, Tracy? Is yeah. that what it is? You got to go? Big talk till PG-13 gets out of uh, the ring and heads for him, and all of a sudden, Mr. Smothers got somewhere else to go. Yeah. Not too sure how much I trust that cake there, Wolfie, but... Uh... You see just how Tracy Smothers was running. He's always ducking and he's always hiding. That's why we ask for our title match. Because we want our titles back. Well, Tracy Smothers and Brian Armstrong said we got to put up $5,000. Well, guess what, boys? That's petty change. We'll do anything it takes to get a hold of you because we don't like you, Tracy Smothers. Come on, Ice Man, let's get him. You know, J.C. Ice has been in America since 1975. My father has wrestled in this company since 1975. And now we got you, Bob Armstrong, talking about company for company, going to take our company. So what you're telling me is, J.C. Ice, you better look for another job if we win. Well, I promise you this. I know Jeff Jarrett since I was a little bitty boy. And Jeff Jarrett usually backs up what he says. But I know this week, Jesse James Armstrong, I wouldn't be you, boy, for all the tea in China. And we're staying in the USWA, not Smoky Mountain, boy. Smoky Mountain thinks they're going to take over. They're going to have to deal with folks like PG-13. We're going to be back with more from the USWA right after this. Now there's a new hearing aid for Miracle Ear. So advanced, it's virtually invisible. Now you see it. Now you don't. 
It's the new Mirage hearing aid for Miracle Ear. Call now. We'll send you these free booklets that tell you how the virtually invisible Mirage may help you hear better. If you call 1-800-863-4100 right now, we'll also send you this free videotape, Hearing Loss in You. It'll show you the most common causes and solutions for hearing loss. And we'll include the free booklets about the new Mirage hearing aid for Miracle Ear. You see, Mirage is our most advanced hearing aid that fits completely into the ear canal. It's not only small, it's virtually invisible. Call Miracle Ear at 1-800-863-4100. We'll send you important new information about hearing loss and the virtually invisible Mirage. It's amazing. I know he's wearing it, but I can't see it. So call Miracle Ear at 1-800-863-4100. Call now. What are you fishing with? The doodle socking jigger pole is the oldest, most ancient way of fishing. For bass fishing close to banks, in grassy areas, and among tree stumps, this jigger pole will catch more bass than any other method. The jigger pole is compact, convenient, and will make a great addition to your fishing equipment. The jigger pole allows you to put the hook in the fish's mouth. Call 800-227-7168 and order your doodle socking jigger pole for only $69.95, plus $5.95 shipping and handling. According to Independent News Service, last year AT&T was a corporate sponsor at the infamous Gay Games. Recently, they were seeking support from homosexuals through a direct mail campaign. One company, however, is investing their funds in a different way. Lifeline is a Christian-owned fiber optics long-distance company that invests 10% of its revenues to support pro-life and pro-family causes. Now you can support the kingdom with every call you make and save 4 to 8% of your standard AT&T rates. Switching costs you nothing. Oh, I got to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Every time they're around, I feel that way. But uh, that's not the only problem. Uh, the, if, if problem is the right word, it's certainly the right word for, uh, for Jerry Lawler, with this uh, Ahmed Johnson who came in, challenged for the unified heavyweight title, and uh, walked away as the new champion. Yes, he did. We, uh, of course, knew Ahmed Johnson's reputation up in the WWF. He was, has been undefeated up there. Nobody yet has been able to beat him. He came in and challenged for the unified title against the King. We've seen a lot of guys come, and, you know, I guess you kind of take it for granted. Uh, the King has been able to handle the situations, make the diagnosis, and all of that. i got to tell you one thing, Dave. This guy has that rare combination that if you ask coaches in football, baseball, basketball, whatever, you'll hear them all say, the first thing let me have is an athlete. This guy is an athlete. I've never seen anybody with the kind of strength that this guy has. Couples up with it, he has the agility to be able to move like, well, we haven't seen anybody in the ring this like this true. guy, Ahmed Johnson. We're going to let you take a look at some of the highlights of a match that absolutely was a stunner to us when Jerry the King Lawler put up the unified world heavyweight title against Ahmed Johnson. Here's what it looked like. In on him. But he's not over rushing. He's trying to get a spot where he's going to be able to get this guy and hold him down for three. Now he's down. Well, he gets him on his back. The King with Ahmed Johnson laying in the middle of the ring. Oh, it drops down and misses. Oh, my goodness. Fifteen minutes call being made, and Ahmed Johnson just dumps Jerry the King Lawler. Boy, this Johnson. A big, big dude. Let me tell you, fans. What a huge guy Ahmed Johnson is. Slams Jerry Lawler down with a big body slam. Picks him up high. Slams him down hard again. Just as it looks like Lawler was about to get himself going in his unified world title bout, the tides have changed and Ahmed Johnson laying it down. Let me tell you, partner, he is doing it. Johnson again. Body slams Lawler. That's about five in a row. Jerry Lawler in trouble badly with Ahmed Johnson with the unified world title hanging in the balance tonight. Another slam from Ahmed Johnson. 301 pounds. Ahmed Johnson slams down Lawler. Lawler, no lightweight by any means. King coming in at 236 pounds for this unified title bout. But right now, it is all, and I mean all, Ahmed Johnson. 
You know, Corey, what's going through my mind, I, I noticed Johnson taking a couple of gulps in there. I wonder the way he's manhandled. Here's a count of one, two. This could be it, a count of three. And we have a new unified world heavyweight champion in 17 minutes and eight seconds, a new champion. I am me. I am. Enter the future. Vector Man. The most revolutionary game ever for Sega Genesis. And play to win for a chance at a $25,000 grand prize. Vector Man. Resistance is futile. Cyber. In Risk, the world is your battlefield. You are the general, leading armies across borders, conquering everything in your path to take over not just a country, but the entire world. Risk, the game of global domination. Now, a few words from Archie Bunker on evolution. We didn't crawl out from under no rocks. We didn't have no tails. And we didn't come from monkeys, you atheistic pinko meathead. <laughs> Archie Bunker on gun control. Did you know that 65 percent of the people murdered in the last 10 years were killed by handguns? Would it make you feel any better, little girl, if they was pushed out of windows? And now Archie Bunker on video cassette with All in the Family, the Collector's Edition, the Emmy-winning sitcom that broke all the rules. Yours for only $4.95 plus shipping and handling for your first four-episode video cassette. Now you can experience the legendary wisdom of America's foremost expert on everything. Archie Bunker on politics. And Salvatore, Feldman, O'Reilly, Nelson. It's an Italian, a Jew, an Irishman, and a regular American. <laughs> it's what I call a balanced ticket. You'll even hear from Archie on the job. To get your first four-episode video for only $4.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-216-1122. Brian Christopher, we're expecting uh, to see here in just a moment to see if we can talk about some of the situation going on around the USWA right now. Brian, of course, involved in... Uh, Stuff. Here he is right here. New sexy Brian Christopher greeting the fans along the way. He's got that belt around his waist. Doing a little celebrating as he comes this way. Time to get him to run tight, but we did want to get him out here and have a word or two with him before everything uh, got away from us today. What a wild day on USWA Championship Wrestling Action. And... Brian, you got the heavyweight title around the waist, and what a day, huh? Dave, what a day, and it's going to be a great day come Monday night. I can't wait. Can you wait? Because let me tell you, Dave, for two and a half years, two and a half years, every single night, me and Jeff Jarrett would bust each other in the face, beat each other up every night for this belt right here. And I know over anybody how tough Jeff Jarrett is. I know exactly what Jeff Jarrett will do. And now that Jesse James Armstrong has gone out and messed with his family, there's nobody that I would rather be in this match defending this company right here. Because not only is he fighting for himself and his grandfather, he's fighting for you, Dave. He is fighting for me. He's fighting for all these USWA fans. He is fighting for everybody that is a member of this company and there's nobody that i'd rather be in there I, i've hated jeff jared in the past but this monday night i'm gonna be behind him 100 percent and then i got a big match also i was gonna mention that one too yeah that's right another match with another guy from smoky mountain another thug from smoky mountain where i'm putting this belt at stake well let me just tell you something Sure, Tex Slazinger, you're a big guy. You outweigh me. You're a lot bigger than I am in stature. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You're not as tough as I am because I'm as tough as nails. And there's no way that I'm going to let anybody from the Smoky Mountain take this belt right here. Remember that. 
Brian Christopher be defending the belt this coming week coming up and also, as he said, right behind Jeff Jarrett. We're going to check time. We'll be back here in just a moment. Stay with us. Time Life gives you a searing look at the truth about war. The power. The weapons. The people. The horror. What is it about war? Now you can explore the dark force that shaped the century we live in. In the Century of Warfare from Time Life Video. The ultimate visual history of 20th century man at war. Brought to life by rare combat footage unlike anything you've ever seen. Never before have you looked at why wars are really fought. The anger. The glory. The evil. Call now and watch as the battle of the century reaches its peak in air war. World War II for just $4.99. And find out how close the Allies really came to losing the war for Europe's skies. Other videos explore the common threads of 20th century conflicts with War at Sea, Iron Curtain, and Vietnam. From World War to Gulf War, Normandy to Kuwait City, confront men whose schemes lit the fuse of war. Witness bravery so remarkable it turned the tide of battle. And watch as weapons attain a fury even their creators could not control. Call now to get Air War for just $4.99. Use your credit card and an additional hour-long video, The Violent Century, is yours absolutely free. Future videos will arrive at the regular price. Keep only those you want. So call now and look into the dark face of war. It's a sight you won't soon forget. To order your Century of Warfare Air War video, call 1-800-752-9988. Use your credit card and receive the Violent Century video free. Or send $4.99 plus $3.49 shipping to Century of Warfare, P.O. Box 2727, Department 65, Costa Mesa, California, 92628. Looking forward to all of that and hope maybe you'll be back with us for our special show next week. It's going to be a real dandy. And so, for Corey Macklin, Dave Brown, this is Lance Russell saying, Surprise package, Smoky Mountain. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Well, I got a special party present. I guess sent by my daddy. I'm so happy. Wow! Double J! Jeff Jarrett! Selected and paid by parties other than this station, mainly the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.